Um, okay, so uh, I, perusing yesterday, and all of a sudden, no one's talking about this, but apparently we might die this weekend. Um, the, actually, I should take that back. The scientists say we won't, but it, there is but, an asteroid that's coming very close. So that's why you say that. So matter of factly. So, like, oh no. So, there are like designations for asteroids, and this one in particular has been labeled potentially hazardous because of how close it will come to Earth mm -hmm. tomorrow. Did anybody tell you that? I didn't know there's about an asteroid it. Yeah, coming. <laughs> we have no Ben Affleck ready. There's, there's nothing. nothing happening. It's like the Bruce end of Willis days. is unavailable. Yeah. We have no idea what's going Bruce on. Willis is unavailable. That's but we are going to bring in Carissa Cedor, who is going to help us out. She's from the Buell Planetarium and Carnegie Science Center, and and you're going to calm our fears a little bit. Although perhaps we may be deserve an asteroid hitting us. And this point. asteroid is huge, right? It's like the size of the Empire State Building. It's pretty big, yeah. It's uh, it's it's about 2,000 feet uh, in diameter, approximately estimated. So uh, it is pretty big, uh, and yes, technically it is potentially hazardous just by uh, where it is, how close it's going to get. But don't worry, it's still going to be over two million miles away from Earth. Um, so we don't really have to worry about it hitting us this time. So two million miles, and it's labeled potentially hazardous. How does it get that designation? That's not I would, what I would consider close. Yeah. So uh, NASA actually tracks near-Earth objects. They're called NEOs, right? So any asteroids or comets that could come within um, a, a few million miles of Earth, and it is considered potentially hazardous if it comes. Uh, even closer, like within one uh, astronomical unit, which is about 93 million miles. That's the average distance between the Earth and the Sun. So anything that comes within that range, they like to keep their eye on. Uh, so you can actually check out, uh, JPL has something called Asteroid Watch, and they keep track of things like this. There's a whole uh, branch of NASA that is dedicated to looking for these near Earth objects. So, is this anything that we'll be able to like see from Earth or feel any types of effects from? Uh, actually, no. So, it's going to be it's pretty small uh, considering uh, how big things are in space, right? So, we probably won't really be able to see anything unless you have, you know, a telescope, especially for this kind of thing. Um, but this is actually how. We can track near Earth objects from Earth as people look at star fields and look for anything that's moving in the background. So, uh, but it really won't affect us at all, other than giving us a little bit of a, uh, a close pass by. <laughs> wow. Has, have we ever, and I, I'm sorry, I'm throwing you maybe for a loop on this question, but have, has anything ever come closer than this one? Like, what's the closest an asteroid has come? Sure. Of this um, size. I mean, things, things come close. I'm not sure what the closest, like, large object would be. Um, but there are things out in space all the time. Um, and it's only every few uh, million years that we expect something large to actually impact the Earth. Um, so we're good for now. Um, but the <laughs> Earth is actually pummeled by stuff every day. About 100 tons of debris from space just kind of crash into the Earth every day. I'm telling you, Most we deserve it, Carissa. Really yeah. Most of it is really small, though, and that's when you see a meteor shower. That's when you see a fireball across the sky, and right. that stuff, yeah. you know, thank you to our atmosphere, protects us pretty well most Good of the time. Good old atmosphere. Sort of I'm fascinated Chris, by this stuff. Before we let you go, I know a lot of people are fascinated mm -hmm. by space. I am, too. Can people come to the Buell Planetarium and, and take a look? Is there stargazing? What do you guys have going on? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I'll give you a sneak peek right here. We've got <laughs> this is the path of the asteroid uh, that's going to pass by tomorrow. And we can take a look at things just like this in the planetarium. We've got shows going on every day. Uh, we are open right now. So come by and see us. Maybe you'll see the asteroid uh, that's going to zip by us or any kind of other programming that we do every day. We have our star shows and all sorts of fun things. So we'd be happy to uh, chat with you and show you all sorts of cool things. Well, thank you, Carissa. Thank you for reassuring us that we we're are not going just to fine. die. Maybe and, for uh, another million years. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're good. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you.